Hey guys, it's me Dante at Ferrigno Freedom Channel coming back to you once again to do a little crock pot cooking. I had somebody ask if I could do another video talking about short ribs in the crock pot. Absolutely, I'll be glad to. As a matter of fact, I have been using this crock pot all week to cook various things. I started off with ribs at one point and then I did a chuck roast and then since then I've added a brisket and a top round together. I like to put brisket and top round together because top round always is a little bit drier and tougher and the brisket gets more moist and soft and I can mix those together and get a, a softer overall meat, something that's really good. So the juices that are in here right now have been piling up for a couple of days and especially since I only have two ribs left, that's not, you know, there's not a whole lot of fat in here to create its own juices so it's going to be a nice way to add a little bit of fat to keep these nice and moist until I'm ready to eat them. But essentially, I'm just going to stick them in the crock pot and let them sit for between six and eight hours and they'll be ready to eat. Let's go ahead and put them in. So I just take the meat, it's come wrapped in this butcher paper for some reason. The last processor I had uses a lot of paper, I didn't like that. So I set them in here like this and then I take some of my Redmond smoke salt. I like to make sure that it's with the fat side up because I want this to soak into the fat, get that flavor to soak right into the meat. The other side is mostly the connecting tissue and stuff that's on the other side of the bones. But I'll probably still add a little bit of salt even after this because anytime you cook something in the crock pot, the salt overall tends to just get absorbed into it. And that's pretty much all there is to getting it started. Now I'm going to switch it from warm back to low, let those cook for a few hours, and we'll see the result shortly. Oh, well, it's been right at eight hours. It's nice. I've been out working in the yard all day, cutting up tree limbs and putting brush into a burn pile. I'm exhausted. And I'm glad to be able to come in and have something ready to eat. Having a crock pot has been one of the best things I've ever bought for 20 some dollars that this thing costs compared to any of the air fryers I've bought or all the other appliances. This thing keeps it ready. It's ready to go right away. You can take a look here. You see I open it up and it's just all cooked and juicy and delicious and nice and hot ready to go. I'll put a little salt on it to taste. There you go. Beef short ribs in the crock pot. About the simplest thing in the world. <laughs> it didn't take any time to prepare, just had to wait for it to cook. But it's a carnivore's friend. Crock pot. I'll tell you what, it's awesome. I hope it's cooled down enough for me to give it a try. I'm not even going to add salt yet. I'm just going to see how it tastes right off the bat. Mm. That's that's good. It's good just like it is. It's good right out of the pot like that. I still would like to have a little bit more of that smoky flavor. So I'll take some of my cherry smoke salt. Just sprinkle a little, little bit on top. That's more than enough. Let's give it another go. Oh yeah. Mmm. Gotta love the crock pot. Gotta love short ribs. See you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?